Moon World Films. Hello, internet users. This is Ishina Forrest. I'm going to be talking about the 20th anniversary of my album Halloween Tape. I wrote and recorded and produced it myself um, 20 years ago. I was 20, 23 years old. Um, yeah, a bit of a late bloomer. I was a late bloomer. I uh, moved out of my mother's house and moved on to College Avenue in an apartment complex in uh, Athens, Georgia, USA, United States. And there I, I uh, well, I had been fiddling around with recording and writing songs, and I had released already released this album, Omar Mathatron, uh, which was my first album. And then, uh, oh, bloody hell. I don't know where my other one is. My second album, Halloween Tape, over here. Um, I released my second album on October 31st, 2002. Um, I wasn't really sharing it with people. I, I don't think I gave it out until like February. I started really sharing it with people in the next year. But um, that's when I, you know, made it and recorded it, and I finished it. Some of the songs were recorded um, many years before, like two or three years before, and uh, yeah, I I did it all on my on my own. I bought a Tascam four track tape cassette recorder. It's a thing about this big, and you could do four tracks on it. You could. Uh, Record. Um, here's here's another picture of it right here. Anyways, um, yeah, I could record um, my own songs, uh, play guitar. I had a really crummy microphone. It was a Radio Shack microphone. I could have, you know, bought something decent, but you know, when you're 22, uh, you don't have your you're uh you're still learning about the world especially when it's 2002 and you grew up in the 90s and the 80s and the 70s a bit of the 70s one year of the 70s so yeah that's what i did i i made but anyways i used this little device and some of the songs are recorded on a computer um using a sound recorder i think the application's called and uh, I transferred those audio recordings to a tape cassette and then dubbed those those recordings. Everything ended up on a tape cassette of some kind. And But I had a double tape cassette player. One side play, one side record. And I'd make duplications that way. And finally, maybe 10 years after that, that device stopped working. Um, recently came across this one a couple of years ago and... This one stopped working, but, you know, it's there for prosperity of the technology. Um, everybody likes, you know, well, I, I like old technology. Um, analog uh, versus digital. You know, everything I do is analog until I press record and that's the digital product. Um, but... Back then, with the tape cassette, everything was analog. It was kind of cool. I, I heard about the one of my friends, high school friends, had also had a Tascam. And as soon as he, uh, I had a job. I worked at a magic store in Atlanta, and uh, he showed me this. Um, it looked crude. It was like this blue. It said Tascam on it, and it was a tape recorder, tape cassette, regular old tape cassettes. You know, uh, these guys, oh, these guys right here, um, just regular old tape cassettes, and uh, you could record on them, and 
it was more than what I had been doing, which was just regular tape recorder and uh, recording songs, you know, air record with the mic that's on the recorder to uh, record my songs. Like the song Tiger is um, one of those tape early tape cassette songs where I actually recorded on a tape recorder. And but uh, later, once I got the Tascam, I was able to do overdubs and do a basic track and uh, make kind of like this whimsical experience, um, more more artistic, which I really liked. And uh, it was a uh, it was it was a new you know technology. I remember going to the I went to a, a guitar center to pick one out. And uh, it wasn't that expensive. I think it was like maybe 130, 150 bucks for this little four track device. And uh, it just opened up a whole world to me. You know, I could, I could do what the Beatles were doing on recordings. I could do what my favorite artists were doing. I could uh, m- make things that I thought were cool finally with that thing. It was a. Uh, Self, a way of self-expressing myself that I never thought I would ever be able to. And to, still to this day, I've had uh, two other Tascam multi-track devices. Um, one, the one previous to the one I have now is a, uh, it was a 20-track or 15-track. I can't remember. Maybe 19 track. I, I, I can't remember right now, but I would, uh, you know, push that thing to the limits by bouncing tracks down and adding maybe 10 more tracks so I could do something as simple as a guitar solo that sounded halfway decent. Um, and then uh, up until like whew, 2015, I want to say. I got a Tascam 30 track, and I love it. I I wish I could fiddle around with it more than ever, but um, yeah, that's what I do now. But uh, 20 years ago, it was the four track tape cassette thing, and they you know Tascam has been making uh, these devices for um, ages, I, as far as I know. <laughs> I guess uh, they've had all kinds of things um, produced and um, for, for home use, and uh, it's it's fantastic technology. You can do pretty much what you want to do. You know, have one track be you know your voice and guitar, and then have a second track where you put bass on, and then have a third track where you put a keyboard on. And then a fourth track where you maybe overdub your vocals and have like a, a you know, an interesting vocal and blend them so they sound pretty nice. Um, you could do all that with that device and it teaches you how to home produce your own music and it gives you a good idea to what you want if you wanted to, to if you wanted to make music on such a simple device and bring it to a studio and communicate with a uh, producer or director of some kind on what you would like to make so um yeah 20 years it's been uh the the album is completely pretty much on the dl for the last 20 years nobody really knows about it um except for maybe 10 people and barely those 10 people uh have come across it. Uh, I know one particular person named David who is very fond of the album. Um, And uh, I know I recently met a guy who I've not seen for almost 20 years uh, last year. And uh, he bought, I was selling the tapes when I was making them back in 2002. um, In 2003. When I was giving them out to people, basically I was giving them out, um, and, uh, just sharing them with people. And, but sometimes, you know, people would say, Hey, I want to give you a little bit of money for this. And I was like, okay, give me five bucks or a dollar or whatever, whatever they thought it was worth. I'd be like, here, 
this is yours you enjoy it and uh that's the whole thing basically now with the uh, digital age of music and Bandcamp. um i've made the album completely free to listen to and uh um uh, experience and i'm going to be doing a little uh making my own i have a new little tape recorder that i can plug into a computer and make uh kind of a, a new version of the album with bonus tracks and i'm going to be sharing that around town in athens georgia um making little videos on instagram about my adventure and hiding it and hopefully leave a nice message on there so when someone finds it they can communicate to me hey i found this thank you you know uh i think that's a cool idea to, to way to get the music out there and uh you know i'm gonna do it slowly i'm like I'm gonna only do one tape a week until i don't have any more tapes and that's only 10 tapes as of right now so um yeah i just want to have fun with it and uh share it um in a fun way because the music is fun to listen to and uh it's uh you know it's it's like if uh to me it's like if radiohead tom york was a teenager and he made something at home that's to me that's what my tape is um basically it's 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 crude it's not does not sound professional it does not sound like um uh you know made by xtc or something super clean and posh it's a very it's not totally crude but you know it's interpretable you can listen through it and it has um you know electronic keyboard and drums and guitar and me singing on it and other digital instruments inputted and uh i'll make another video about each song if i can remember but i just wanted to talk a little bit about halloween tape and uh the last 20 years of <laughs> of uh it's under the radar existence <laughs> so uh if you're a, a new if you're new to hearing this um it's free to download right now on bandcamp.com moonworldrecordings.bandcamp.com the website's right down there on the screen so um it's yeah it has a uh, volcano with rainbows coming out of the <laughs> out of it or rainbow stars of some sort um i made the image on microsoft paint <laughs> so um uh, that's all i have to say right now about halloween tape by ishtiner forest uh, go check it out and thanks for watching bye bye thank you for watching and please subscribe for more of my cool content also, you can check out my other cool content on these other social media sites like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Bandcamp. So, see you next time. Moon World Recordings by Schneider Forest. <laughs>